Joining us now for more about all of the news coming out of Iran is Yervan Abrahamian. He is a distinguished professor of history at the City University of New York. Mr. Abrahamian was born in Iran and he's written several books about that country. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Why is it so inconceivable that President Ahmadinejad was re-elected to a second term? Uh, because the base of the, his support in the past has been about 20, 25 percent. That's, you can say, is the core of the conservative support. Suddenly, it's jumped to 63 percent. Well, we know at this time, in fact, much of the liberal opposition did come out in full support of the Mossavi. So it's hard to figure out how this the big jump in his base could have increased. So it's not the fact that he could have won. It's the fact that he apparently won by such a huge margin. Uh, yes. And, of course, I think he could have won something like 40 to 50 percent. But in order to prevent a runoff, the figures had to be above 51 percent. And with the runoff, you would have had this whole emotional demonstration as we'd seen the last 10 days. Yes. And that, that I think, is what very much scared the authorities because you they lost control of the streets and this type of mass demonstrations would have continued if there was a second round. What do you think of the Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei now coming out and reversing his initial endorsement and saying there needs to be an investigation of the election results? Well, it's a joke because he'd already endorsed the election results. He will appoint people who uh, will be Ahmadinejad people who will then obviously will be uh, 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 in a way checking on Ahmadinejad's uh, activities. So it, 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 I don't think it has much credibility. There's no sort of independent investigation? Uh, unless he chooses people outside Ahmadinejad's entourage and also his own entourage, uh, it's very unlikely to be, have any credibility. I can't see him doing that, jeopardizing the whole elections by giving it in the hands of people he can't control. And how is this likely to complicate President Obama's desire to open up a dialogue with Iran? It's very much will complicate it because Obama's really put the ball in the Iranian court. He's offered uh, an olive branch. He's dropped the, the prerequisite about stopping enrichment. And it's clear that Ahmadinejad is not going to be forthcoming in meeting uh, um, uh, Obama halfway. So uh, th there's going to be rejection from the Iranian side. Then the, it'll be up to U.S. what to do. I think it will strengthen people in the administration uh, who want a very hardline policy, especially tough economic sanctions. Uh, they will, in fact, go for that. Yervan Abrahamian, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.